In this video, we will show you how formalized requirements can dramatically improve the efficiency, completeness, and degree of automation when verifying software units. Please have a look at our video on formal specification to find out how these requirements get created. We will be taking a look at three use cases, formal test, requirements-based test generation, and formal verification. Let's start with formal test. In a traditional requirements-based testing approach, each test case is only checked against the requirement from which it is derived. But what if test case number two violates requirement number four? Thanks to formal test, all formalized requirements are automatically checked against every simulation. The status is reported for all execution levels like MIL, SIL, or PIL. In this example, the test case is linked to requirement 1.1 or passing, but the formal test discovers a violation of requirement 1.1 coming from a completely unrelated test case. In addition to showing whether or not a requirement has been violated, we also introduce a meaningful metric for requirements coverage so we can easily see if a requirement has been partially or fully tested. If a requirement is not fully tested, our second use case provides a way to automatically generate missing test cases from requirements. In this example, we start the test generation for requirement 4.1, and we can see that one test case is enough to deliver 100% requirements coverage. After a simulation, we can see that the formal test status has changed from inconclusive to fulfilled due to the newly generated test case. Edsger Dijkstra was quoted as saying, testing can be used to show the presence of bugs, but never to show their absence. So how can we guarantee that a safety requirement can never be violated? This question can't be answered by conventional testing because a test case only represents one run from an almost infinite number of possible runs through the states of a system. The answer is found in a technology called model checking, which analyzes all possible runs at once. The result is either mathematical proof that a requirement can never be violated, or a counterexample showing how to bring the system into a state that violates the requirement. In this example, our safety requirement can be violated in four simulation steps. From the counterexample test case, we can now generate a debug environment, identify and fix the problem, and run the proof again. Please also have a look at our other videos, and don't hesitate to contact us if you have any further questions.